What is up to all my little unicorns, new and old? It's your girl Wes Indy Ray back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about my current wash day routine now that I have loose natural hair. I'm gonna start by taking out these braids, showing you guys the state, the condition of my hair because you haven't really seen it, you know, since it's been out, you don't know how long it is. So right now, I haven't done my hair in literally days. Last time I washed it was probably like maybe a week, a week and a half ago. So these curls are still in my head from there. Hopefully I won't have any trouble combing them out because I do have the unbrush, which is that viral brush that has been going crazy on TikTok. And I have to tell y'all that it really works. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna have much difficulty when it comes to combing out my hair. But to be honest, I should be doing more maintenance on my hair than I have done. I'm gonna take it out and it needs to be washed y'all like bad. This is how much hair I have right now. I see it. And this is what the hair is giving after, like I said, a week and something. It's definitely giving tumbleweed right now. I've been really simple with the things that I have been using on my hair. I've been mostly using Inner Sense. I've used the Wella Repair Spray that I'm gonna be talking about in the next video. I've also been using the Main Choice Gel. It's really the only gel that I have found with decent ingredients. I went to the hair store the other day to look for gels, hair gels. I really, really wish that there was like a good eco style alternative, but I have yet to find one. I did pick up this gel that had the best ingredients out of all the gels that I at the hair store. Only thing with that gel is that it kind of has like a strong scent to it, which I don't know, it depends on if you're in the mood for it. I would say make sure you smell it at the hair store before you buy it. It smells good for sure, but I don't really do a lot of fragrances in my routines. So if you're not a person who does a lot of fragrances, you might want to just smell it before you go ahead and purchase because you will smell it on your hair until it dries. And then the other thing is that obviously this gel is not giving eco styler, like it's very loose. And honestly, y'all, I know this is gonna sound super hard to believe. This is the first time, like this style that I did, this is the first time I ever actually did small braids on myself. I watched this video by this lady that I will link in the description box below because with this lady's video, I literally learned how to braid in five minutes on a mannequin head. I kid you not, five minutes. It's called How to Braid for Beginners Only, I believe. Don't worry about it if you can't find it. I will link it so that you can find the exact video in the description box below. But this lady's video was like sent from heaven for me. And in my next video that will be on my channel probably next week, y'all will see me do a full braid style. Okay, so my hair is all out now, free from the braids. And now it is time for me to go ahead and show you guys what I'll be using in the shower to wash and condition my hair. I don't know if you guys remember the Clean Beauty Justice partnership that I did in the beginning of the year, like around January or February, but that campaign really opened my eyes up and it really helped me kind of determine what my personal standards are when it comes to the things that I'm allowing on and around my body, whether it be household cleaners or things that I'm putting on my hair, my skin, or whatever. I think that this is something that is personal to each person. Um, you have to decide for yourself what it is that you wanna do and how far you wanna go with it. But what I have decided for myself is that the things that I use on a consistent basis I want to be as clean as possible. That's not to say that I'm never gonna color my hair again. That's not to say that I'm never gonna go get a facial again or I'm never gonna do like a chemical peel or anything. That's not to say that I'm never going to use a certain product in my home. Things that I use more than once a week, you know, every week. I want those things to be as clean as possible. So because of that, I decided to go ahead and try the Innersense line. The Innersense products I'm using are the Hydrating Cream Conditioner and the Hydrating Cream Hair Bath. These are the ones that are marketed for kinky and coily and curly hair. I have seen reviews online to where this one guy was like, oh, you might just wanna use like the regular one. You don't need something so hydrating all the time. But for me personally, I love hydration and I feel like these have been really helping my hair along with the other things that I've been doing 
in this moment to make sure that my hair bounces back from the trauma of the lock comb out. So I'm doing a lot of things, but these are two of the things that are going to be staying in my routine moving forward because the ingredients are really clean. And I also just really like these products. You don't have to use a lot because they're highly concentrated. You get a nice lather on them. They have a lot of slip. And the main ingredient when using these is water. Water, 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 water. They do not promote you just pouring a glob of it in your head and washing your hair like that. Like when I would use other shampoos in the past, if the bottle was this big, I would use this much in one hair wash. But you use a lot of water as the main ingredient because that is the thing that causes your hair to be moisturized, it's water, not oil. And apparently these products are really good with helping you not be product dependent. A lot of times when we use certain other brands that are heavily oil products, it kind of, you know, coats the hair shaft and doesn't allow for moisture to really penetrate. And that causes our hair to be drier and drier to where we are product dependent and we have to keep using these products in order to make our hair look shiny or feel moisturized or just be manageable. Which, judging by the fact that my curls were still popping like a week, a week and a half after I had initially did my hair, it's doing a pretty good job. So I really like these products. And then I also got their hydrating hair mask. Aside from that, I will be using this unbrush. Y'all know I'm not really like a gimmicky type person, but I wanted to make sure that I had what I needed to not like break off all of my hair once I transitioned back to being a loose natural. And I'm telling y'all, this brush, she's that girl. And then you'll see to dry my hair, I'll be using just a old t-shirt. Come over here to the shower with me so that you can see the whole wash day process. Girl, come on, let's go. All right, so the first step with this wash day routine is gonna be to completely drench my hair. So I know it looks like I only did it for a second, but I promise you it's much longer than that. And then I go in with the hydrating cream hair bath and rub that in my hands and apply that to my hair, making sure that I'm getting not only my scalp, but also the lengths of my hair really clean. The beautiful and surprising thing about this hair bath, which is quite contrary to a lot of other shampoos, that I've used before is that you can actually go through and start detangling your hair while it's in the hair bath state. So by the time I'm at the conditioning stage, it's pretty much already detangled and you'll see that in just a second as I apply this conditioner. Again, the main ingredient here is water, so I don't even have to apply that much conditioner to get my desired results. And as you'll see in just a second here, this unbrush is really sliding and gliding through my hair with ease. And this is not like, oh, I did a preliminary detangling before these clips. Like this is really the beginning of the detangling part of the clips. My hair was just so detangled from the shampooing process that it's super easy. So now I got conditioner all through the hair, okay? It's all through the hair. And you can just see the texture is really popping already. Like, look at them curls to the girl, okay? So now that it's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and tie that hair to the side and I'm going to start on the other side of my hair, making sure again that I am drenching it fully. I did drench it with water in the first place, but you know, over time it gets a little bit a little bit dry, you know, just being there, sitting there. So I drenched it again, and then I go in with the shampoo, and it's super easy to detangle. It's so hydrating, y'all. Like, I cannot make this up. You guys can see it. This video is not even sponsored, y'all. I wish it was, I wish it was, but it's not. This is just the facts, okay? This stuff is just, I don't know. Like, look at the way that this brush is just gliding through my ish, like, come on, we can't make this up. So after that process, I am moving back over to the other side and I'm going to go ahead and do the deep conditioning. Now, I don't know if they recommend doing a conditioner and deep conditioner with these treatments or just one, but baby girl has some, you know, some trauma at the ends of her hair, especially so. That's what we're doing and we are definitely focusing more so on the ends of my hair because that's the part that got the most trauma, like I said, from the lock comb out and that's also the part that has color on it. The rest of my hair is virgin hair. So she's actually thriving, I'm not worried about her at all. If you guys wanna know, like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna color my hair again or not. To be honest, I don't even know what I would look like with completely black hair again because I haven't seen my face like that literally in years, y'all, in years. But I love myself and I also feel like it might add something interesting to my face. like. I don't know, I might have to enter a new era. Like, I might have to be a mysterious girl or something like that, I don't know. I feel like it would definitely bring out 
a different energy. So I did the deep conditioner on both sides and let it sit for a bit. If you can do this outside of the shower, I would highly recommend it because if not, like you're literally going to be sitting in the shower like waiting. Like I'd be turning off the, sh the shower water because my shower water will get cold. So I literally just sit there for a while and let my shower charge up again before I go ahead and rinse all that out because I do like to have a little bit of warm water on the scalp and on the body. So I'm going ahead and rinsing all that out. This is what the hair is giving. And I'm just so happy that regardless and despite all of the things that my hair has been through within the past few weeks, that she's still thriving and she's still able to, you know, take moisture and all of that. Now I'm just wrapping my hair with this old t-shirt. I love using a long sleeve because it makes it so much easier to wrap it like a little turban style and you could kind of just rock with that and chill with it for some hours. So yeah, this is the amount of hair that I lost in this whole process. Can y'all believe that? Okay, so I let my hair dry. I don't towel dry my hair per se because it leaves like a lot of length. Plus I heard that just doing it with the t-shirt is better for your hair. So I went ahead and kind of let my hair dry in this and then I put it in these little braids. Now I'm about to style it and come back so that y'all can see what I did. Okay, so this is the final look that I ended up doing on my hair. Make sure you stay tuned. For the next video, you'll see some footage of me actually doing this look on my hair. I'm also going to be giving you guys a nice little Q&A and telling you how I'm rehabbing my hair, especially the ends of my hair being that they are the most affected by the comb out and the color. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that. Please make sure to leave a little unicorn emoji in the comment section below if you made it to this point. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.